Good morning. Camera is dirty. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> today we're gonna work on the shed a little bit more. I've got my dad here because today we're doing do, 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 do. <laughs> because today we're doing something that's hard to do by yourself. We got some big plywood sheets and we're putting those on the wall. And I'll show you. So you see this wall, we've already got one here. The other ones are going on it. Me and Frida had some fun with drawing on the wall because that we'll never be able to show it, see it again. And if you ever have to get it off, then, you know, we can see 2024, Frida loves Steve. <laughs> anyway, so yes, we're making this wall nice and pretty with some plywood sheets today. All right, let's get started. Okay. There you go. As you can see, we now have a beautiful wall. <laughs> and uh, you can definitely see the, the old one compared to the new one. Very different colors. <laughs> but that doesn't matter because we're gonna be painting it white. So a while ago, when I bought this house, back in 2016, the previous owners warned me that sometimes there's badgers underneath the house. And of course, that's not something that's cool. You don't want animals underneath your house. And if something as big as a badger can get in, other things can get in too. So I was, I was saying to them, well, I'll plug those holes that they don't get in. But plugging the holes is not a good thing. Let me show you a little bit more about the foundation of my house. And then I'll explain why plugging holes isn't a good thing. So here I am walking to the front of my house, you can see, and my house is based on uh, natural rocks. Yes, they took gigantic natural rocks, made them square and just built my house on top of them. Which means my house doesn't have a basement, it's just a building standing loose on some natural rocks. Now, let me show you some of the holes that there is in there. As you can see here, there are some holes right there. Might be a hole there. All along the side of my building, there's holes between where the natural rocks meet each other. And yes, some of them have been cemented a little bit close. Not done by me, that was uh, also the previous owners. But they warned me, um, you need to leave some ventilation there because if there is no ventilation at all, tra moisture will get trapped underneath my house and will start rotting the beams. And of course we don't want that. To keep the rodents out and the badgers and mice and that kind of stuff. So to keep rodents, badgers and other kinds of animals outside of my house, here is the next best solution. I've got a big roll of steel wool. I'm gonna cut parts of it off and plug holes with it. Because uh, rodents and other animals can't chew through steel wool, but ventilation will still, air can still get through it. I've seen other people using this in construction for ventilation holes, so I'll be doing this too. So let's get started.
Now this is a uh, especially good task to do right before winter because when it gets cold outside all the small animals are going to be looking for some place warm to stay for the winter and uh, there my house is obviously going to be nice and warm and since I'm in the middle of a forest there's a lot of animals that are looking for a warm place so good winter preparation There you go, that's what I have left. I plucked most of the holes. Of course, I will never be able to find all the tiny mouse-sized holes in my house. But every time I do find a hole, I'll plug it with some steel wool. And something that's important, this is the kind of steel wool that doesn't rust. You don't want to get the rusting kind because, you know, that, that doesn't help much. <laughs> it will just rust away. So yeah. I've got this weapon against animals and uh, I'll use this every time I find a hole in my house. Having that task done for the upcoming winter is going to be nice. Now up to the next thing. And that, ladies and gentlemen, means winter is coming. When they start putting these reflecting poles in the ground, it's because of snow that's coming. So they are expecting that snow won't last long before it's here. And uh, yeah, they put these reflecting poles into the ground for the winter so that we can still see where the roads are supposed to be. Usually they're quite early because, you know, they got a lot of roads to do but it's a big sign of winter coming. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next vlog and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Still recording. Ha.